Good morning guys, so I have decided to do a bit of vlogging today, it is actually a Sunday, um, I've like washed my hair, you can see my greys poking through already, um, half sort of done my makeup. We were really busy on the house stuff yesterday so we've decided to pop out for today, so I will take you with us and yeah, had a very productive day yesterday. I'm actually 28 weeks pregnant today so I'm starting to feel like not that I'm getting near the end, but that I'm, like, I feel like my clock is ticking in terms of, like, getting stuff done before I get too, like, big and tired, basically. So I really tried to push through yesterday. I'll show you sort of what we've been up to. But the house is just generally a bit of a mess everywhere. Like, there's baby stuff. There's, like, furniture things. We're moving things around, etc. So, yeah. Um, so you just have to sort of excuse, like, the mess in the background and stuff. Anyway, as I said, it's Sunday, it's nearly 11 actually, but we've sort of both enjoyed like lions this weekend. And it's time to make my morning smoothie. So I've been having a morning smoothie probably since being pregnant, to be honest. Um, kind of switched it out for coffee because I, I've mentioned this, but haven't really been enjoying coffee, although I had one yesterday actually and I did enjoy it. And I just felt, felt like I wasn't really getting in enough like fruit and stuff, so. I'm gonna do that now and I've kind of like what I do now so I'll show you but as I say excuse all the mess everywhere so in my smoothie I put in one banana and then coconut milk if I need it a bit more liquidy I'll put some water in as well and then I have some frozen mango and either frozen blueberries or the like strawberry and blueberry mix like the frozen fruit from Sainsbury's because it's like three for two and then if I'm feeling a bit naughty slash just fancy it I'll have a dollop of um pip and nut crunch peanut butter in there as well because it's just good so I do think I'll have some of that today I am all ready now. We are off to Lewis for a bit. We always go to Lewis when we don't know where to go because they've got lovely like gardens where we can just chill and have some sandwiches that I've made. And there's also like plenty of nice little shops to have a little look around and it's gonna be hot. So we don't wanna like walk too far. I'm getting to that stage where I don't really know what to wear and put this dress on. Don't know if I'm gonna be too hot because it's like long and black, but. Um, is this dress. I think I got it from, I actually can't remember, you know, H&M or New Look. I don't love it. I don't think it's like that flattering. Excuse all the mess everywhere, but um, it's going to have to do in this heat because, yeah, I'm not sure what else to wear. So there we go. Let's go. We had a lovely little morning out. Well, I say morning. I think we actually didn't leave until like three. So that was a very nice day. Although I'm not sure if how much of the pregnancy contributed to this, but I felt so hot and like lethargic by the time we had left. So I got home, shoved my hair up, put on like the th thinnest clothes that I could find and I knew I definitely could have just like had a nap but I was like if I start napping I'm not gonna then be able to like get back up again so I didn't and after like a bit of a TikTok scroll I got up and I finished some jobs and yeah basically tidied all the whole of downstairs we had boxes everywhere like I said yesterday 
I am just, I was going to do a bit of reading, but actually it's getting on to maybe being dinner time prep. So I might just start doing that in a minute. But I was just, I don't know if you can tell, but like I've moved all my office stuff down here because baby is moving into my office room. And eventually, I think the plan is that I will have a desk in the spare room. But that desk doesn't really fit in that room. So it's down here for now will be that way for a couple of months and then um we'll think about the future when that happens and yeah i finished this a couple of weeks ago i don't think i've spoken about it but i just wanted to give it a little shout out because i absolutely loved it and i haven't really seen anybody talking about it writing about it i quite like going into waterstones and just looking at what they put on the front of the shop displays and this was one of them like a few months ago it just caught my eye. I read the back and I was like, okay, I like the sound of that. Um, so I really did enjoy it. It's quite a short book. Well, I think it's quite short. And it follows a girl called Margot from when she's 17 to 34. And each chapter is about a different guy that she dates throughout those 17 years. Um, I, I think like it kind of misses some people, but... I really really enjoyed it it was quite fresh real different quite like Dolly Alderton vibes although I actually find her stuff quite hit and miss but this is a debut novel by Roxy so I'm excited to see what else she brings out the only thing I was a little bit unsure on is she writes in is it the second person when you she says you instead of like I or her or she so that was quite hard to get my head around but I really really enjoyed it very very good and then I've actually just finished a book for a book club that I'm starting local book club not like a digital book club I'm not sure if I'm going to get on with it or not obviously we'll see but I am roping a friend along with me and the book is David Nichols You Are Here I don't think I've read anything by him since one day which is definitely like one of my favourite books but I've read that a really long time ago and this was nice it was a nice book I actually got on with it quite quickly wanted to get through it I didn't struggle to pick it up again but it's just a nice book <laughs> like don't know if I'll particularly like remember it or it's not going to be like one of my top books or whatever but um I did quite enjoy it so yes and I'm trying to switch things up a bit now and get through this which one of my friends got me, um, which was very nice of her. She thought it was very, very good and helpful. And I've had another friend recommend it as well. So it's The Positive Birth Book by Millie Hill. And I'm probably about a third of the way through. And I, at first I thought I didn't love it. I didn't love her tone. She's quite opinionated about stuff. But actually now I'm reading it, that doesn't bother me as much. And I am learning things that I didn't know before. So I'm going to keep reading that. For me, that's not really like a read it in bed kind of book. So that's just, a, I'm going to pick it up now for a bit. Um, anyway, it's quarter to seven. It's nearly dinner time and it's been hot today, as I said. Perfect night for a barbecue, but I'm pretty sure I've said this in a previous vlog, but we've run out of gas for the barbecue. So I have literally just remembered that I didn't take out the brioche buns out of the freezer. That's so annoying. Anyway. <laughs> that's annoying. I've lost my train of thought now. But I'll show you what I'm doing with the barbecue. If we now have a barbecue or not. Because I've just fluffed up. <laughs> Decided to do chilli. Which is not a very summery dish. But it was on the list for this week. And I can do the barbecue tomorrow so just doing chili now chili is one of those things where i really enjoy doing it i just find it quite relaxing i just shove stuff in so that's what i'm doing now it is the next evening excuse my gross t-shirt and i said i would show you the barbecue barbecue <laughs> so i've done a potato salad which has essentially just got mayonnaise, a bit of mint, mustard, lemon juice and then in here I've done some cherry tomatoes with a bit of um, 
extra virgin olive oil, some basil, and then this stuff I have not made, but it is so good. We recently, recently had this, it's from Waitrose, and I cannot tell you, it's so tasty. I will um, insert a clip of what it actually looks like because I, the lighting is not great here. The burgers are just done, or burgers, mozzarella burgers, so I'm just gonna pop them in brioche buns and then we are good to go. So it is actually another day. I thought I'd just end the video in the nursery because we are getting somewhere with it and in my head I thought I'd do like a nice like before and after but the reality is that I probably won't do that and I think I'll just share it in real time because let's be real the reality is that things are just not a quick before and after like in life they don't happen really quickly and on Instagram obviously they do but they don't in real life. So this is taking quite a while and it's still not finished yet, but it's a bit of a labor of love at the moment. So I thought I'd just give a few sneak peeks and then I'll wrap the video up. And also I think I am getting a bit more tired now. I've hit 32 weeks, so that is what I am as I'm uploading this video. And I don't know how many more vlogs I'm gonna do before she gets here, if I do, so yeah we have just been away for our sort of like last little weekend away we went to hampshire so we stayed like north of winchester in a village now i'm really gonna mess up how you say it it's called new aylesford aylesford i don't know how you say it so we stayed there and then we went into winchester yesterday and today on the way home we went to brighton so we've had a nice little weekend away feel a bit sad now because I'm like oh that's the last weekend away before she gets here but obviously it's exciting too but I just think there's like quite a lot of emotions that run with that and I'm probably feeling a little bit more emotional and hormonal right now anyway and yeah it just feels like time is ticking now so I'm just sat here in her nursery I am surrounded by the little bits that we've bought her so far we, I mainly have bought things second hand apart from probably bits for the nursery, like all her clothes are pretty much second hand. But some of the cute bits we've got her already is this um, sunshine jelly cat, just couldn't resist it. And that was like the first thing we sort of got for her for here. And then we also bought her, I think this is the first book we've bought her together. Yeah, it is. Um, because in Winchester they got like the Britain's oldest bookshop and we went in there and we wanted to buy her a little book for the nursery so we got her this which is Say Goodnight Little Penguin and it's very very cute. The plan is to put like a bookshelf here. I'm sitting in the chair currently of the nursery. I'm going to put a bookshelf here so her little books will go on there and then we ended up getting this another jelly cat this weekend because wanted to get her another one and I just we kept thinking about this octopus isn't she so cute and then today when we were in Brighton uh they had like a matching book <laughs> so I had to get this um if I were an octopus so this is the jelly cat book so yeah we will have this at the same time I'm gonna give you like a sneak peek of the nursery um and do you know what i may not even get up from the chair <laughs> this rug which was h&m i think they still sell this because it wasn't it was quite recent so i'll put a link and then we've got her cot up now we ended up buying this from ikea wasn't the original plan we were supposed to borrow the one from my sister but it it was just too big in here and it wasn't working so we've had to buy this one from ikea and then all of her clothes are currently the washed ones or pretty much the washed clothes are just in storage here at the moment because behind here we've got like an Ikea chest which all her stuff will go in there and then there's little baskets from Ikea and then we've got these little shelves up here I probably will get up and show you <laughs> curtains from H&M and then the colour is little green masquerade but we got it colour matched by the decorating centre online and I'm really really happy with it now so we sort of did like a three 
I wouldn't say we did like half, it's sort of like, yeah, I don't know, three quarters ish, or like two thirds. I've just got up, but this is the chair I was sat on. This wasn't the original chair that we wanted, but we tried that chair and it wouldn't fit. So this was an alternative from HomeSense and it's comfier. And as I said, this is where her bookshelf is gonna go. This door kind of opens out here, so we don't have a lot of room this side. That's a bag of stuff from my friend, which is very grateful for. So yeah, as I say, this is the stuff I've started to wash already. Predominantly all of this is second hand, so thank goodness for Vinted, I tell you. Look how cute this dress is. This is Vinted. It's actually Primark, but just thought it was so cute. It's like, it's quite autumnal actually, and by the time she wears it, she'll probably be, yeah, I don't know, springtime. But I thought that was adorable. And actually, the lady was very lovely because she threw in a pair of tights, which is very cute. It's cute. Oh, this is actually another favourite. This is a more recent vintage find, so it's just handmade, but so sweet. So those are those bits. Those still need washing, actually, so I'm kind of confusing things here. That is all of that stuff. And then these little shells. So these are both secondhand from Next. I think I've shown the cardigan before. And we've got these little shells from Ikea. This is not finished. I'm kind of just, yeah, collecting things at the moment. This little car was from a charity shop. These little toys are actually H&M, so they are brand new. These are shoes that my friend recently gave me as hand-me-downs. But, oh my God, look how cute they are. They are honestly the sweetest things ever. And then that is a second-hand charity book. My friend bought me this one, which is so sweet and got this card for her today in Brighton, which I wanna get a frame for. And it just says, the world is your oyster, which is super cute. And planning to put a print up here, so that has just been ordered as well. But yeah, that's her room so far. So I'm gonna leave this vlog here. As I said, don't know what is to come in the vlogging sphere, but um, thank you so much for watching me and much bigger bump now i don't know if you can see that yeah we're becoming a bit more uncomfortable now so we are going to go chill for the rest of the weekend i mean it's only literally sunday into the night time and i will see you soon bye